Hebrews chapter 10 verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Akapodash. Next double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. For God's what people are here for. You got flesh <laughs> walk around trying to tell the God of the Bible what they're going to do and what they ain't going to do. And it's comical. Flesh now. <laughs> flesh that will dissolve and evaporate if fire touch it. You see? <laughs> it, it, it's funny. It's like mind blowing that you actually got flesh, skin. <laughs> oh man. Walking around acting like they can tell the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son what they're going to do and what they ain't going to do. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. The Lord is going to burn you soon come. Wicked people, they constantly fight against you. How about she now? They constantly fight against the words. Starting off with the head apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, we bring out lessons pretty much each and every day. Two, three lessons a day. Edifying lessons on fearing the God of the Bible. What people do, they still fight against the words. The scriptures tell you to do one thing, you do the opposite. But what I just read, it said, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. St. Luke chapter 12, verse 5. But I will forewarn you. Forewarn you. Give you warning ahead of time. Whom ye shall fear. The scriptures is forewarning you. Who you should fear. Fear him. Who is the him? Who you eagerly call God and Jesus Christ? Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Which after he have killed have power to cast into hell which hell is a condition played out on earth see one thing about the heavenly father and his only begotten son they can kill you right take that spirit send it right back up to the heavens send that spirit right back down put it into another body and torture it to death man and truly show you why you should fear them right yay I said to you, fear him. Pursuant to um, Psalms chapter 2 and 11, it says, serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. But you wicked people, man, you wicked people are going to learn. You're going to learn. You're going to learn and you're going to burn, man. But you will learn. The whole duty of man, I, I want to get that right quick. The whole duty of man, your whole existence was created to fear the God of the Bible. Your whole existence. Mainly you Israelites, but the whole earth, everybody on the earth, your whole existence. You, the reason why you was created, all of us, was to fear the God of the Bible. Not to fear Allah, not to fear Buddha, Santa Maria, the Hindu God of Shiva, none of that other nonsense, the Kimmy gods, none of that. The scriptures say fear him. They can kill the body. Take that spirit, put it in another body, and take it through pure hell. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man but these people are very prideful very prideful for Yahweh shall judge Shalakia for Yahweh shall bring every work into judgment you have to pay for the things that you say the things that you do your thoughts that's why we repent because the Lord's going to bring every work into judgment with every secret thing. Things that people don't know about that you out there doing, you better repent from it. Turn back. Seek your high by Shai. 
But for all these things, all the death and destruction that's going to come down the pipeline, two-thirds are not going to turn from their wickedness because these heathens ain't going to turn from their wickedness anyway. But the scriptures say, let the wicked forsake his wicked ways. Talking about our people that's out there committing wicked acts. And I'll get that. For Yahweh shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing. Whether it be good or whether it be evil, man. The Lord said he's going to bring every secret thing into judgment. Every work that you've been doing out here on the face of the earth. That's why the scriptures say it all over and over and over. Repent. But these people, look, you're not fighting against us when we bring out the word. You're fighting against the heavenly father and his only begotten son. You know, he that heareth you, heareth me. He that despises me, despises him that sent me. Let's get this. Ezekiel chapter 7. Salakia. Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman into the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word of my mouth and give them warning from me. We warning you that the Lord can kill you, man. If you'll turn from your wickedness. The Lord can actually kill you, man. We give you warning. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord would persuade men. We threaten you with the words that you have by Shem Yahushai. We do it instant in season, out of season, regardless of people here forbear. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. And thou givest them not warning. Let's talk about the warn, the wicked of our people, right? We warn the wicked of our people. Just like we was warned by the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, right? Thou shalt surely die. And thou givest him not warning, no speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way, to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, sin upon sin. But his blood will I require at thine hand. That's why we warn the people. Because we don't warn our people to tell them to turn from wickedness. The Lord going to look, going to hold us accountable because we had the words. You know, we have been allowed, brothers, we have been allowed to receive these words and to go teach. We gotta warn the people. Yet, if thou warn the wicked, we warn in our people that it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. And he turned not from his wickedness, nor from, look, nor from his wicked way. He shall die in his iniquity. But thou hast delivered thy soul. So we warn our people. That if you don't turn back from your wickedness, look, look, you're going to die a horrible death. And then the Lord said, look, I'm, I'm going to bring it to him. I'm going to bring it to him. You know, Amos. Amos chapter 5 verse 4. For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, unto the house of Israel. Seek ye me, and ye shall live. Seek the God of the Bible, Israel, and ye shall live. If not, you're going to die. You're going to die a horrible death, man. So Rock chapter 40, verse 9, death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked. And for their sakes came the flood. So you want to fight against the Lord? You want to constantly fight against your how about Shema Shower? These are some of the things that you got to look forward to. Look, these are just some of the things that you got for you got um, to look forward to. You see, these are just some of the things, man. Yeah, everything ain't even written. All the judgments the Lord gonna take these wicked people through. It ain't even written, man. Things that ain't even written in the book, He gonna take our people through. You wicked people on the earth and the wicked, you sleaze of mice, you most definitely gonna go through pure hell. You know? Sirach chapter 39, verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. You don't wanna take heed to the words of the Lord that he got spirits created for vengeance for you. Which in their fury lay on sore strokes. And in the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Them Jeffrey Dahmer spirits, them Ted Bundy spirits, them Jason Voyage spirits, you know, those Chainsaw Massacre spirits. They out here and they was created for vengeance, man. Fire and hell and famine 
and death. All these were created for vengeance, Israel. You want to constantly fight against the words that you have by Shemel Shai, so the Lord created some spirits just for you. And they're going to get you. They're going to get you when you least expect it, right? Teeth of wild beasts, meaning these animals, these vicious animals. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword. Punishing the wicked to destruction, man. That's what you got to look forward to. Since you want to take heed to the words of the Bible. Since the Bible is a white man's book. The white man, the white man, the white man. Since that's your excuse for not taking heed to the words you have by Shemiah Shai, then guess what? You're going to feel it soon come. The Lord said you're going to feel it soon come. You got spirits created for vengeance. And when it's time for them to come out the cut and get you, they're going to get you. They're going to get you, man. You know, it's, it's going down. Whether you like it or not, it's going to go down, Israel. It's going to go down, 2nd Ezra. Chapter 7, verse 20. For there be many that perish in this life. The word perish means to die. All right? For there be many that perish in this life, in this generation. Because they despise, meaning they hate the law, the words of the Bible. They, they despise the law of Yahweh that is set before them. You see? For Yahweh by Shemar have given straight commandment to such as came. What they should do to live. We, we just read Amos 5 and 4. Seek the Lord, O, o children of Israel, and live. Even as they came. And what they should observe to avoid punishment. But you're going to constantly fight against the God of the Bible. When he laid it all out on the line. He gave you the instructions. People say B-I-B-L-E. Um, basic instructions before leaving the earth. No. Basic instructions why you on the earth. How about that? Basic instructions why you on the earth. You know? Why you on the earth. Take heed to these basic instructions. The Lord said, look, my words are not grievous. My commandments are not grievous. Nevertheless, they were not obedient unto him, but spake against him and imagined vain things and deceived themselves by their wicked deeds and said of the Most High that he is not and knew not his way. So by saying that, and by taking that kind of energy on, that leads to death. That's why those spirits created for vengeance are going to get you soon come. It's going to get you soon come. This is the same power that can keep you alive. This is the same power that can kill you, man. Psalms chapter 145. Psalm chapter 145, bear with me, verse 17, and it reads, The Lord is righteous in all his ways. Yahweh by Shem is righteous in all his ways, and, the, and, look, and holy in all his works. All his works. The Lord is nigh unto them that call upon him. To all that call upon him in truth. He will fulfill the desires of them that fear him. You feel you fear the Lord? And he's gonna fulfill all your desires, right? He also will hear their cry and will save them. The Lord preserveth all them that love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. All the wicked he will destroy Israel. Psalms 145 and 20. The Lord preserveth all them that love him. He's going to keep you safe. But all, all, all. He said, look, he said, all Israel, all. 
I want to get that definition too. Let's get that definition for all. He said he preserved all them that fear him, right? Let's get the definition for all. All used to refer to the whole quantity. All, every, each and every, entire, total, complete, everyone, everybody, everything, everything is real, but all the wicked, every one of them, everybody, will he destroy Israel, destroy all the issues of death come from the Lord, man. All the issues of death come from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So you want to constantly fight against Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai? Then look, all of you's gonna die. All of you's will die so come. Our people know what wickedness is. Our people know what wickedness is. Psalms chapter 47. We'll start at verse 1. Oh, clap your hands. All ye people, shout unto Yahweh with the voice of trumpet. For the Lord Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, most high, is terrible. He is a great king over all the earth. He's terrible, Israel. He's a terrible power. He will kill you, Israel. Psalm 96 and 4. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. He is to be feared above all gods, Israel. All gods, not some, but all gods, Israel. You don't play around with the Lord. Once again, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. We persuade men, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. Job 28, 28. And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem Shai. That is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. And to depart from evil, look, look. Woe to them that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness. No look, and no brightness in it. No brightness in it. Jeremiah chapter 11 verse, verse 7. For I earnestly protested unto your fathers in the day that I brought them up out of the land of Egypt. Even until this day. Rising early and protesting, saying, Obey my voice. Yet they obeyed not. They constantly kept fighting against the words of Yahweh by Shemiah was shot, right? But walk everyone in the imagination of their evil heart, meaning that mind, right? Which is desperately wicked. Who can know it? Therefore, I will bring, look, I will bring upon them all the words of this covenant. Remember, um, what is it? Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. The blessings and the curses. Remember? It says, which I commanded them to do, but they did them not. And the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, said unto me, a conspiracy is found among the men of Judah and among the inhabitants of Jerusalem, all 12 tribes, Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indians, right? They are turned back to the iniquities of their fathers, of their forefathers, which refuse to hear my words. They refuse to hear the words of the Lord. And they went after other gods, which the Lord said, look, he's to be praised and feared above all other gods. But Israel turned back to that vomit and started worshiping other gods to serve them. The house of Israel and the house of Judah have broken my covenant, the agreement that we made with Yahweh by Shemiah by way of Moses. 
which I made with their fathers. Look, therefore, thus said the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh behold, I will bring evil upon them. Meaning them bad times. You're starting to see the beginning of it. You're starting to see the beginning of it. Which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will now hearken unto them. Then shall the cities, the cities of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, a people before the place, go and cry unto the gods unto whom they offer incense. But they shall not save them at all in the time of their trouble. And we're in the midst of Jacob's trouble already. And all those gods and all those idols that you worship, you know, are not going to be able to save nor deliver you from the clutches of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So Rock chapter 39, verse 25. For the good are good things created from the beginning. So evil things for sinners, evil things for sinners, those bad times, these bad times were created for the wicked of the earth. These things, everything that you see going on right about now, from the fires to the earthquakes to the hailstorms to the lightning. Should the Lord just killed, you know what I'm saying? Um, 39 um, people over there in Uganda with one lightning bolt. Killed them all, man. But you want to play around with your how about Shinyawa Shah? You want to keep playing around with your life. This is Proverbs chapter 13, verse 13, and it reads, Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed, but he that feared the commandment shall be rewarded, man. You know, you despise these words, you're going to be destroyed soon come Israel. Destroyed. You know? Proverbs 14 27 The fear of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Is a fountain of life To depart from the snares Of death man Jumping back Same chapter Proverbs 14 12 There is a way Which seemeth right unto a man But the end thereof are the ways of death. So despising the words of the Bible, going against the words of the Bible, mocking, scoffing, all that seem lovely, all that seem right, but the end all be it all is you dying a horrible death. Malachi chapter four, verse one, for behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly, shall be stubble and the day that coming shall burn them up said the Lord when the missile said 200 million missiles gonna hit this place said the Lord of hosts that it shall leave them neither root nor branch but unto you that fear my name Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shall the son of righteousness Lord Yahweh shall rise with healing in his wings and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. Fear him, Israel. Fear him. Second Chronicles chapter 19, verse 7. Wherefore now let the fear of the Lord be upon you. Let the fear of the Lord be upon you, Israel. All of us, right? Take heed and do it. This is a commandment right here. For there is no iniquity. With the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh our power, nor respect of persons, nor taking of gifts. You can't pay the Lord off when that judgment come. Remember, riches profit not in the day of wrath, man, 
but righteousness delivered from death. Righteousness delivered from death, Israel. 2 Kings chapter 17, verse 39. But the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, your power, ye shall fear, and he shall deliver you out of the hand of all your enemies. That's if you fear the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Now, if you don't fear the God of the Bible, then he's going to deliver you into the hands of all your enemies, man. Straight up. Psalm chapter 147, verse 11. The Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, taketh pleasure in them that fear him. That's the Lord's delight when we fear him, right? In those that hope in his mercy, man. And that's what we're praying for, mercy. You know, mercy. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Where there is no fear comes the wrath of the Lord. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 27. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, prolongeth days. But the years of the wicked shall be shortened, man. So yeah, the wicked is around right about now. You see people committing wicked acts each and every day. But soon come the Lord is going to take their ass out of here, man. And those that fear the Lord shall be preserved. Shalom.